in peril. In a series of armored offensives, Germany has carried its blitzkrieg from Poland to France through city and countryside. The Africa Corps has devoured mile after mile of the North African desert, gateway to the oil-rich Middle East. Huge panzer divisions have smashed across the vast borderlands of the Soviet Union. The Allies, with firm resolve, have gathered their forces to begin the showdown with the Axis. Millions have volunteered to join the war effort, the industrial might of America turning to arm the Allies as the indomitable British island becomes the springboard for a mighty Allied counteroffensive. But victory will require more than just ships, tanks, planes, and armies of brave young soldiers. It will require the leadership of bold, decisive tacticians. In this dire situation, the leaders of the Allies marshal their finest commanders to lead the fight for freedom. Desert Duel. January 1942. Italy has struck into North Africa, intent on creating a Mediterranean Empire. This opens the way for the German war machine to secure the gateway to the Middle East. If the Axis succeeds here, the Wehrmacht can slake its growing thirst for oil with the bottomless reserves of Arabia. Germany has sent the best to lead the best. Irvin Rommel will lead his newly assembled Africa Corps. He plans to use these same panzer troops which captured Poland with terrifying speed and ferocity to crush the greatly outgunned British troops entrusted with holding Egypt. The British have little to sustain them besides their bravery and wits. It will have to be enough for any hope for an Allied return to Europe rests on their shoulders. Sir, as you well know, since September the Italians have pushed as far east as Sidi Barani. Whilst they may have suspended their advance, their presence remains a threat to the stability of the region and to our reserves of petrol. High Command has instructed us to proceed at top gear with the resources we have to hand and dislodge the Italians from their Libyan colonies.